Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chaplin, Tiger Technicians Hour. This is the Tuesday, the 22nd of March edition. And what we're looking at is the Dow is up 272 points at 34,826. Look at this remarkable move. From the low that was made on the 14th, that wasn't the low, I'm just saying from this particular low, the 32,272 low was the uh, February 24th low. Then it ran up quickly to the 34,100s, pulls back sharply to 32,578, and then kind of stalls. And for four days, it goes sideways. And usually that's the fifth day that is, I mentioned, the fifth day is really important uh, to subscribe to some opening call. One of the reasons why we went long um, a week ago, uh, that was Tuesday morning before the open, was just there was, look, at the, look the, just on the pure technicals, this is where the stochastic is at, it's moved from under 20% to about 37%, so it's rising. The on-balance volume had only just made a V-shaped pattern, was about to turn up, but the MACD, you see the histogram, these vertical lines right here? That's the distance between the nine period differential, the green line of the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, and the slow moving average, the 26 period exponential moving average. And you can see that they were moving, and it seemed to me there was a really good chance that the MACD would flip positive, and within a very quick time, the nine period, the pink nine period moving average on this daily chart would finally get a chance to cross positive. And if it did that, the way the markets were looking, regardless of the bad news out there, there could be a really quick turn to the upside. But in this particular congestion pattern, it's really tough to say that you're not going to go back into the rectangle and stall at that 34,100s, because that also coincided with the down channel, the little mini down channel that I call the Chapman Wave inside track repellent and then a propellant zone. Well, we went beautifully up on Tuesday. We pulled back just a tad in the early morning and then ran and closed almost at the high. Did the very same thing the next day. Did the very same thing the next day. Monday, made a new recovery high in leg C. Pulls back, kind of a modest move. When you think that Boeing got slammed, uh, Salesforce.com uh, got got slammed. Uh, when, when Home Depot had about a 10 or 11 point down move. I mean, this is it was quite remarkable action, especially in the vi environment we're in, especially with rates. We'll get to that in a moment. So, powering above the 200 period moving average, making the 34,350 area key support now in the short term was really important. And then today again, even after yesterday's stalling action, we've made another leg to the upside. Leg C continues. Now this is where the other Chapman Wave techniques come in. The MACD is expanded. I love the, the expansiveness when the nine soars above the 14, or in this case, the nine goes above the nine period differential of the MACD soars above the 26 period, the red 26 period moving average. The histogram is still expanding. The, the nine period moving average has gone sharply above the 14 period moving average to confirm a buy mode that we had gotten to last Thursday, I think it was. Um, and the stochastics at 96 percent, I mean, that is fabulous and hopefully flattening out. If it flattens out, that's another good sign. So all of this against the backdrop that we've got is really helping the weekly and the monthly. I wanted to spend a little time on this just to show you the same thing happened in almost all the other key indices. But even more importantly, look at the way the weekly chart has now improved. The histogram is finally in the weekly chart of the MACD. Started, 
that's a zero percent line they start to improve it's still very very ugly but that v-shaped turnaround in the weekly chart on the unbalanced volume and the stochastic in the 32 percent area i would have preferred to see 38 to 42 percent right now but the week has only just begun so let's give it the whole week and this leg b was so important to push away so that the nine period moving average can start to get close to the 14 period moving average and here's the monthly chart. Remember, I've been talking about this for a long time. I said, under all these conditions, is it even possible to dream, to even think that this really is a peak B at 48.18.62 in the monthly chart? I still have to say it's a peak B, but everything about the action uh, from the other monthly charts says, um, let's see if this can continue because so far this is fabulous action. Just 48.18 down to uh, 41.14, 700 points in the in the um, monthly chart of the S&P. Um, I, I, as of this very second, I'm really impressed. Comes Friday, I might say, uh-oh, what a pity we were doing so well and now we're failing again. But at this particular point, I, I couldn't even dream that this would happen. What I had said was, Chapman Roman Candle of January uh, saw the halfway mark taken out in the wick. So that made February really important. That took out, it went under, under the 14 period moving average. Now we've had another almost Chapman Roman Candle for February, and yet we haven't taken out the left side, uh, the, the low that is, of 41.14. In fact, we're running up towards the upper part of the closing price of, of, of last month. So far, I, I just, it's hard to believe that with everything that's going on, with crude oil, we'll get to that. Let's get to it right now. So you've got the QQQ. So key support this week for the um, S&P is in the 4380s. Uh, QQQ, NDX 100 trading vehicle. Uh, this is trading from the high of 408.71 in November, slumped down to a double bottom at 317.45. Now it's taking a nice turn to the upside. MACD's at 91%. That's terrific. Uh, sorry, MACD's strong. The stochastic's at 91%. On balance, volume is lagging. But you see this little gray line here in the daily chart? That is the um, RSI, the relative strength in index. And that is so far moving up. And that's good. And the monthly, the weekly chart is bumping up against the 14 period moving average. Uh, it broke down below it back in, I think that was, I think it was early January. Yep, January the 7th, week of the 7th, we plummeted from 402 to 378, went under the nine period moving average, under the 14 period moving average, and we haven't been able to break above it and hold since last week. We broke above the red, the pink nine period moving average and this week we're testing the 14 it's starting to improve the histograms improving but there's a lot of work to be done all right let's get to the iwm i'd like to add some things that i had i didn't look at in great detail yesterday iw is also in leg c the russell 2000 nice move up i'd say if we can get to the 20950 area there's a chance it's going to try for the 200 period moving average of 211.90 we'll see if that happens this is improving uh, all around i mean we haven't broken out it's still in the rectangle formation lowercase h goes to lowercase m and then you have to watch for the cup formation in the travel wave methodology to just break and see the price sharply above the most obvious high arch level and that goes down the 10th of feb at 209.05 i'll be back in a moment are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. 
TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So just a real short term, let me show you something that's going on. In the one-minute mini chart, this is the uh, June contract. We've got a peak D, but the technicals are still holding really well. But it is a peak D in the day in the one-minute chart. It is a peak E in the two-minute chart. It is a peak, well, it's a leg E for until this five-minute chart is completed, and a leg F in the 10-minute chart. And that says this is exactly where you would expect some kind of a, a digestive phase in the very short term on the E-mini to take place. But I tell you what is really important. Look at this 10-minute chart right here. It made a peak D, made a beautiful cup for me. I don't know how many of these formations we've seen over the last couple of uh, days, about a week. It went to a peak D, pulls back. I, I decided I would just continue that notation as alphabetically E and F. But this F really should be <clears throat> F slash C, alternate count, because look how strong... Look how strong the MACD, the moving average is in the second run. So this is like forming an M formation uh, with the first arch right there. Here's another arch coming up. The stochastic is flat at 94%. Remember, I love a flat. Every book, every technical analysis book you get calls it overbought over 80% in the stochastic <clears throat> and oversold, un, uh, oversold when it comes down. below 20%. I say no. That's com that is just completely the wrong way to look at it. You want to see that. Look what happens when the price, look here, in, in the E-mini, it could be anything. Right here when the E-mini went above 80% at 10, 20 to 4 this morning Eastern time, look how long it held before the MACD broke down. And then, sorry, the stochastic went under 80%. And yet, if you use the technique that I've developed over the years, look at the way this this green line still would have kept you in the trade right up until then for three bars, and you went out and then you went back in, and you would be and you had to wait. So I say no, holding above eighty percent is very positive. Going under says you got to be careful. Holding under twenty percent is very negative, and 
as long as you hold under 20 percent it means that the prices should continue lower so i decided that i'm in this particular instance i'm using the 10 minute because look at yesterday how the 10 minute chart would have kept you in this trade way longer than you could ever have imagined uh let me go back here this is yesterday all right this is my show all right here we go so from when I, we would do stop like it stop thank you right there it went back to l long at 9 30 in the morning on the uh 18th oh that was the 18th sorry that was the 18th that was on friday and look what happened it, it held beautifully all the way then it went pink okay and then yesterday so that was uh, 9 a.m we had that sharp move up and then it took it down and it, it plummeted and then what happened is it held pink and it held this 200 period moving average look at this 200 period moving average what fantastic support is that and here we are once again and as it broke above at 210 on the 22nd that is uh, 210 this morning it went green and it stayed green except for that brief little moment uh, where it went pink and it was still flat within a, in a trading range so all I can say is um, the surprise pleasant surprise was that yesterday was a pullback that was just seeing the market drag down because of uh, um, Home Depot etc uh, and today with Nike starting off up six or seven points from last night's uh, earnings report. Congratulations, Dan. With Dan, you were talking about that potential route to the upside. Um, this is really nice action that we are seeing. I suspect that for the Dow, kind of quite a bit of this has been done now. We might see the others move higher. Okay, I had a down arrow. Oh, I should not have put the down arrow there. The down arrow is coming up now, I think. Uh, I'm just going to, well, the reason why I shouldn't have is it was still green, even though the bank D turned down stochastic. I should have waited for the second move up and then to see whether or not it helped. Anyway, so this could be E and this could be F. And then we do it here in the Chapman Wave notation just to show you. Some people say, can you just do some of that live so that we can see what you're doing? Uh, this is one minute is, is at peak E. The two minutes is at peak F. I could have recycled. I'm calling it F. For now, and it's an E in the five minute chart and an F, F slash C in the 10 minute chart. So, uh, let's get back to our story. Uh, question came in. Uh, no, I, did, I, I did that. I didn't do silver. I did gold. Let me just do gold one more time. Uh, gold is down 15 points at 1914. I think gold is in a digestive phase. I do think it's in play for this phase because gold is the, uh, the uh, basically the icon for geopolitical nervousness, a uh, fear factor, just like the VIX is. Where's the VIX right now? The volatility index is down right on the 200 period exponential moving average. Twice in the last uh, month has been the trigger to move powerfowly up. We'll see what happens here, but it's at 22.98. At 20, in the 20s, it's still very high. It means that fund managers are still buying it. Most importantly, though, it's had a tremendous pullback. It did not use last week to scream into the 40 area, 37.79 was the high, uh, 24th of January, 38.94 was the high. So it's pulling back in a cup formation within the rectangle, 20 should be good support and then we'll see if there's some kind of a, a pullback in the market. So I've done almost everything I want to do now, brk.b. So the question, you know, yesterday I spent a little time, I said, Berkshire Hathaway, uh, Buffett's Warren Buffett's um, basically this is the this is the company that he's had what is it, about 50 years 40 40 50 years uh, and under this umbrella of Berkshire Hathaway he's got all these other companies but what's fantastic about Buffett is that he isn't just buying the stock you know there are a lot of uh, fund managers a lot of people out in the business that buy just the stock they only own shares they do not own companies buffett owns companies as well as shares and as as a result he's a player in the field he's not so he's not a bystander but at this point maybe other people are helping him uh, but absolutely I, I just have to say as you know everyone used to talk about peter lynch as one of the great um, innovators in that he always said, I, I like to be able to 
by companies that I, I actually use in my daily life. That's one way to look at it. Uh, believe me, you can have companies that you use in your daily life and they can go from 100 to $5. So um, it's how you do that. But when you are running the companies, that is something. That, and to be at an all-time high right now at uh, in the B shares at 353.55, that's fantastic. So the question came in from one of our dentists who likes longer-term positions. Um, should I buy? I actually thought you had it. I, I guess you don't. If you haven't got Berkshire Hathaway and this is a long-term position, I'm going to say just get your foot in the door. Just right here at an all-time high. You would never do that with other stocks, but with Berkshire Hathaway, looking ahead, I'm just going to say in your particular instance, the risk is 12, 15 percent, um, and because if it breaks under the 3, uh, 340, 335 level, it can have an even longer timeout. But I just say, as a company in your particular type of portfolio, I think this is something to consider. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Dow is up 281, S&P's up uh, 42. Be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. And uh, gosh, what a bunch of questions I had during the break. So one is coin. Do I add to coin? Say what I add. So I, I don't want to forget about these others that I've just written up. So let me just write them down. BKG. Uh, that was one. See, I already forgot the other one that I was going to do. It doesn't matter. All right, there you go. So, coin is Coinbase Global Inc. cryptocurrency. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<clears throat> uh, you see how it's lagging? It's bumping into the resistance here in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Uh, the monthly, ch weekly chart looks terrible. Monthly chart looks terrible. If I put them together and I go to GBTC, which we still have just a little bit off, and we've had uh, just massive gains, and we just haven't been in other than trying to attempt a small buys and different things and different products in the cryptocurrency area. Um, see, GBTC, which is Bitcoin Investment Trust, is acting quite nicely here. It's not great. And if you look at... Um, the ones I look at, which Mara is the other one, Mara is what? A Marathon Digital Holdings. That's a much better daily chart. But look at the weekly chart, it's just flat. So the BTC, Bitcoin, is moving very nicely at the moment, but it's all within a rectangle formation. It's already made the peak A, peak B, peak C, all very much underneath the previous high. I think that Bitcoin is going to fail in about another day or two. It's going to bump into resistance, then pull back, and then it might have made a higher uh, support level of cushion, and then it could start a bigger move to the upside. So I'm not ruling it out. I'm just saying I don't, I don't know if I would want to add to coin right now. Um, although I do see very good support. It's at 185 uh, in the 170s. I, if it goes into the 172 area, it, it's failing. At this particular point, it really should be doing much, much better. Um, my, my thinking right here is there's one that we've used, but you're not going to use it because you're looking at a bigger type portfolio. There's one that's very low priced that does the same thing as the others, but it's only trading in the five, six dollar area. I'd much rather put that to work and be prepared to get a, a smaller portfolio gain but a nice gain from that particular instrument and at this particular point i'm just thinking that but i'm having a tough time saying add to coin that's all uh you in your analysis you might think it's going to go higher you could be right i'm just saying i don't see it unless it's i'm i would rather buy a break at 185 i'd rather see it what can i say it just could be such a quick seven point drop but it could be just a three or four point gain before anything special happens. No, I'm just stepping aside. Sorry uh, to add a leg, uh, B up. Oh, that exactly. That's what I was going to say that that's another way that I would look at it. I'd rather add if it's showing strength, <clears throat> but then your risk becomes a little greater because if a show goes to a B, but then it starts to pull back because Bitcoin's pulling back, <clears throat> then you. If anything, and you want to add, I'd add right here at 185.77, but in this particular instance, 85, so 9, 5%, 4, I'd have about a, a four point stop. As simple as that. I'm prepared to lose four points, uh, very small um, at 185. That's 2%, 2%, 2 3% on a, 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 another add on position, but that's all I would do. So that's what I'm going to say right now. I, 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 if you are going to do it, I do it right now because this is the momentum that we need. And most of the indices are now in leg C. So you should get a pullback and then still go to a higher leg D. So that'll help because Bitcoin, in a way, is starting to move a little bit more like an equity rather than um, one of the um, one of the one of the extraneous safety factors in the terms of the whole currency smorgasbord of uh, individual positions that you can have. Okay, next thing is, and look, PKG, thank you, uh, uh, Jambalaya in the den. Yeah, this is one that we, I can't remember, did we have it? I've just, it was, it's been such a busy time. I'm trying to think, I think we missed it. I had it on the list and I wanted it. Package, Packaging Core of America. So here's my quandary. If I'm looking at Packaging Corporation of America, PKG, and it's trading at an all-time high. Let me just double check. I believe it's an all-time high. Uh, yes, a way, way all-time high. At an all-time high at 155, what, what's with that? I remember years ago, I was at a New Year's party and a good friend of, of mine um, who was in the Staples business uh, before you were, he was bought out, I was saying, um, packaging, man, packaging. I, I can just tell you now, when packaging is doing well, 
the market is doing well. The whole economy is doing well. When packaging is doing badly and was doing badly at that particular point, uh, that's just not a good sign at all. And here it is. Packaging Company of America is at an all-time high. SLX, the steel sector, not an all-time high, but a, a major recovery high at um, 67.12. What? Do you understand why I'm saying that there's something else that's going on here that is different to what is being spoken about and that there are underlying aspects that I look at. Look at CTAS. This is uh, Sintas. It had an all-time high at the 460 area. It slumps, slumps down to the 350s. It pops over the 200 period moving average into the 400s, drops to uh, the 385 area, and now it's trading at 395. It's not breaking down. It is off. In the monthly chart, you're looking at it off, and I have to call this a peak B. Um, it is off the all-time high, but still holding really well. And this is overalls, uniforms, rentals. I wonder what Uri's doing. I haven't looked at that for a while. I bet I lost all my notation. Oh, yeah. How many thousand times have I notated Uri, which is Uri is United Rentals, Inc. In all the years, I mean, this is one I've followed closely forever. And uh, it makes a high in the 400 and. 18 area uh, drops to the two um, what 83 ish announced at 352 look at that candle so you know there's just something going wrong here because if this is going to be a major bear market which a lot of people are talking about um, this is not this is not the action that you'd see at least in my experience 40 50 years looking at markets um, I just this is very so far this is acting very well that's all I can say there's something wrong with this picture if it is to be a huge bearish, bearish, bearish um, outlook. So CTS earnings this week. Oh, 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 out tomorrow in the morning. Okay, we're watching uh, a CTS, but in the daily chart, it had a successful dreaded H. It went to peak A, peak B, peak C minus, comes all the way down, holds, goes to peak A, peak B. This has to be called uh, a DE. So this is still acting really well. The daily chart flat, stochastic at 95%. I just, I'm waiting to see what the earnings, let me put that in. So this is URI, which is United Rentals. Um, if ever the rental business was doing badly, um, you'd have to say, just be careful out there. But it's doing very well. And Syntas is what we're going to be looking at. So 394, if Syntas, regardless of earnings, is able to close on Friday above 400, to me, that'll be at least a decent sign saying overalls, uniforms and rentals coming back a little bit. But if it starts to tumble and closes under 380, I'm going to have to say, uh oh, rethink your the status. I'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I'm back. So, Baba, this is Ali Baba goes down from uh, 319 to 73. That is a whopper of a move. And they make a V-shaped recovery. It's trading at 116. I mean, up 40%, well, we're up $40. Uh, that is incredible action. Uh, we're looking at, uh, that's the thing about when markets go down, if you're holding something, let's say a Shopify, where did that go? Shopify. Let me type that in over here. Oh, I typed that into the den. Sorry, den. Shopify. Um, goes down from 1762 in November to 510 just over a week ago. And then spirals to 780. 510 to 780, 200 points. I mean, this is, oh, wait, wait, 200 points. 200, 270 points. I mean, that's that's like a 50%. That is huge. So what we, we are looking at here is that coming off lows, the amount, the percentage gain, if you still get, get if you get it towards the low, is absolutely fabulous. So I like that very much. Now, what we are looking at here is um, something like a square. They don't call it a square anymore. It's called uh, block ink. Oh, come on, give me a break. Stay with square. Stay with your name. I hate that Google is Google. It ain't. Alphabet, Ugh, alphabet. What's that got to do with things? So anyway, 82 to 143 in square from the low that was made around about the 24th of Feb, but it was at 289. It's still cut in half. So the percentage gain off a of bottom is fantastic. So these are very nice gains. Um, so John Deere reveals fully autonomous tractor at the CES. 2022 conference. Ah, uh, wow. So, dear, which we own, we've owned it now uh, since early last week, uh, trading at, whoo, trading hit 436 this morning. It's now at 430.16, up 767 at an all time high. There's the Chapway stalk leg formation, the breakout. This actually, this breakout now looks more like a propeller shaft. I don't know how much longer it can go up like this, but the MACD is really strong. Stochastic said 93% in the daily, only 81% in the weekly chart, but the MACD is strong. And the monthly chart is good with the stochastic at 76%. So the price is moving. The technicals are going to have to catch up to the price. This is, whoa, automated, really. That, that is a big deal, I must say. Um, yeah, uh, D is the new Tesla. Thank you, G7 in the den. I hope so. <laughs> we'll see. Um, okay, so now let's go on to a couple of things that are really important. Um, so Baba, coming off the low, this is a Chinese uh, a company. I, what is it, Chinese Google or something like that, Alibaba. And now you've got uh, FXI, which is a Chinese Amazon, or whatever it is, Baba, Alibaba, um, coming off the, from the 26th area in FXI, trading at 33 right now, seven points. 
So 30, you know, 30 percent gain, nothing to sneeze at. It was the FXI, the large cap China ETF, was it 54.33? Yeah, uh, thank you, GT. And the other thing that you had mentioned was, um, oh, Boeing. Boeing calls, huh? Uh, evidently, there's good action in the Boeing calls. Boeing is up three at 188.87. Boeing is a mystery because Boeing self-inflicted terrible wounds with that unbelievably uh, um, to have gone through what they went through when their planes were crashing, when the Max was crashing, um, and not almost immediately do something about it, but they should have done something way before. Of course, looking back, everybody looks perfect because it's 2020 hindsight. But they used to be, integrity was BA. Boeing was integrity. And now they've lost that part of it. Uh, it's really important. How do they get it back? So the crash that happened could be just pilot error. It could be anything. We don't know. We won't know for a while. But most importantly, Boeing, when they finally get on track, Will it be too late because the market's already started its big move down? Or will it be the trigger to see everything moving up? It's really hard to say. They just keep on having these. Look at this channel in the weekly charge. You know, I love to draw channels with the temporary inside track repellents and propellant zones. Well, look at this. Since it made its peak a D high in the monthly chart, uh, sorry, the weekly chart back in the week of the 19th of March, at 278.57 look at this beautiful down channel i mean beautiful because it's a channel that's what i mean not the chart the fact that it's going down but it's been within this range and the macd's pull back the histograms kind of flattening up and weak the stochastic is down below 22 percent on balance volume is just very weak and this is a weekly chart and um all i can say is that it's taken time it's not in price, it really isn't such a big deal because it's gone from 278 down to 150, no, 167. So that, that is a big number, but not when you think that it had a low uh, back in March of 2020 of round number 89. Oh, you remember that. And there was someone in the den who said she had just told her father to buy it. I think they, she got 89.50 or something. I mean, she was like within a fraction of the low. And uh, that was just a spectacular uh, entry point. I can't remember who it was. Well, one of our one of our dinners back then. Um, yeah. So 89 runs all the way to two 250s, and then it comes back. So in price, it's been just time rather than time and price. A little bit of price, but mostly it's time digesting. All I can say is that you might miss the low, but when eventually um, Boeing starts to break above this tap wave inside track repellent zone and then trades above it just time alone is going to get you just moving into uh, july or no it'll be more than it'll be about july late july will move you out of this down channel just time will do it i'm saying with price movement if there is if the, for a whole week two weeks if for two weeks boeing starts to trade at 236 to 241 I think that's the that's going to be the move that starts a much bigger move uh, to the um, at least towards the, towards the 300 level. So you're going to have to wait, but that that's the way I'm looking at it. Okay, there are a couple of things that we're going to have to look at here because I had questions come in and I didn't get to them. I I wrote it down. Yes, a whole bunch of questions came in. Uh, what about six uh, again? Uh, we spoke about it yesterday. I said six is, in fact, six flags entertainment call. We, we're not back in it. I should have got back into it. I think this is the move that has the chance to move nicely going into spring, summer. Uh, this is six flags entertainment. SIX up 49 cents at 44.26. It's in leg C. <clears throat> if, if you are interested in it. So if you're interested in it, I would start my position right now. That is, if you haven't taken any position at all. Most importantly, this is one where I don't usually do this. I'm going to say you need a very wide stop, 44. I'd even give it a stop just initially at 40. That's 10% for this initial position. If it doesn't pull back further than 43 or even 42 and a half, but it still starts to trade close to 46, 
I think this could be the move that takes it towards the big resistance in the rectangle formation, which is at 47. But I think it's it's I think it's starting its move right now. So that is six flags entertaining. Guys, a 271 would be right. Uh, Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Uh, Sting is the one that was asked about with Den STNG, trading at 19.80, down 8 cents. This is Scorpio tankers. I used to have a whole list of the tankers, DSX. So this has gone from 11 to the 19s. Fabulous action, but it's once up in the 40 area. So DSX had the same chart. Big move up to the upside, peak F from around about, uh, I think, of like $3 up to $5.50. Pulls back to the 200 period moving average, now having a bounce. It actually looks very much, this is Diana shipping, DSX 4.93 up 15 cents. It looks like, look, wheat. They all got the same kind of chart. Uh, oil, uh, crude oil. They all have the same chart where they pull back sharply and then they have a bounce. And this is the bounce that counts. Is this the one that has the dreaded H pattern, goes back to the left side low of about five, six days ago? We won't know for a little while. But most importantly, what I am looking at is in the bigger context, uh, are areas like uh, Nat is one of those as well, which is Nor Nordic American tanker shipping had a fantastic move from a dollar forty up to two fifty, trading now at one eighty nine. Is this a rest period before the next beam move up, or was that it? The hysterical move to the upside, and now there's just a huge digestive phase. So lots going on. If you look at Alcoa, 
Why is Alcoa moving up to all-time highs? Uh, what's with that? So my big question here is, is the economy way, way, way better than everyone thinks? And it can withstand higher, higher prices all the way around? That's a really big question. The answer should be immediately, absolutely not. But I'm looking at air, the packaging, um, Alcoa. Why would aluminum be moving up to all-time highs when it isn't actually being used? Look at copper, high-grade copper. High-grade copper is holding pretty well. I guess it's pulled back like all of these commodities. It's a big spike to the upside, pulls back, and now it's halfway into that move and kind of stalling. So I got a lot of questions. We'll do with that tomorrow when I do my show. I'll be back with Tom later on today. And uh, thank you for checking out. Bye, dude.